Is there anyone on Earth who doesn't dream of seeing Niagara Falls? I don't think so. Every year, this natural wonder is visited by about 14 million tourists. Everyone dreams of taking a photo here, refreshing themselves in the cool spray of the waterfall, and of course, tossing in a coin for luck. It would seem what mysteries could possibly be hiding in a place with such a huge flow of people. It turns out it still has its secrets. Some of them are pretty eerie, but I still try to unravel them. Today, I'm going to tell you something that likely isn't told in geography lessons. We're going to visit one of the most terrifying places within the vicinity of the waterfall. Then we're going to learn about the brave people who risk their lives for the sake of conquering the dangerous element. We'll then walk along the bed of the Niagara River and discover many interesting things. It's time to get out your raincoats. The journey begins. We used to refer to it simply as Niagara Falls, but in fact, this is a whole complex of waterfalls on the Niagara River. Horseshoe Falls is a waterfall located in the Canadian province of Ontario, and American Falls and Bridal Veil Falls in the state of New York, USA. Niagara Falls serves as a kind of border between the two countries. Its history began about 16,000 years ago during the last ice age. At that time, the northern regions of the North American continent were covered by a glacier more than a kilometer and a half or one mile thick. When the ice retreated, the Great Lakes were formed. About 12,000 years ago, the waters flowing from the lakes made a path for themselves, later cutting a channel, the Niagara River. The lakes were arranged in a cascade and the water flowed from one to the other. This is how one of the world's most famous waterfalls was born. Today, its size is admired. You can draw a parallel between it and the world's most famous attractions. For example, the height of Niagara Falls can be compared to the Arc de Triomphe in Paris or the famous Leaning Tower of Pisa, and the speed of its flow is so incredible that it's comparable to a tsunami. It would take the average family about seven and a half years to use up the volume of water that flows through Niagara Falls in just one second. But what's hidden behind this mighty column of water? I'll start with the fact that Devil's Hole is located on the territory of the National Park. This is the name of a cave, which it's best to steer clear of. This may not seem very scientific, but it's believed that evil spirits live here. And for anyone who dares to climb inside, trouble awaits. It sounds improbable, but even in the guidebooks, this place is not recommended to visit. Fatal accidents always happen here. The sinister power of the cave was tested in the 17th century by the famous explorer of North America, La Salle. Legend has it that an evil spirit spoke to him and ordered him to return home immediately and end his expeditions and exploration of the world. The traveler ran out of the cave in horror, but chose not to believe the evil spirit. He continued to conquer new lands. Bad luck came to him one by one. Diseases, pirates, shipwrecks. But La Salle continued his expedition. Unfortunately, somewhere off the coast of Texas, it all came to an end. Tired sailors mutinied and simply killed their leader. The predictions of the evil spirit came true. We can only wonder if it was just a beautiful legend or really the machinations of the same spirit. But in the 18th century, something much worse happened here. In the year 1763, 81 British soldiers met their death here. They were attacked by the Seneca Indian tribe. The natives outnumbered their opponents by at least three and a half to one. The outcome of the battle was predictable. Some were killed, some were thrown into the abyss. Then the horses and wagons were also thrown in. After this terrible story, the place was considered cursed. There's another feature of the waterfall. The fact is that in the summer, the water flow becomes weaker than in other seasons. And at night, it generally decreases by half. Who or what is stealing the water from the waterfall? 
It turns out that these are power plants. A strict schedule for water intake from the waterfall was developed in the middle of the 20th century. This was done on account of tourism. In order to continue attracting thousands of people to the waterfall every day, it was necessary to maintain the same water pressure. Therefore, it was decided to conduct the main water intake at night and during the low tourist season. However, there were times in the history of the waterfall when it could have lost its tourists altogether just because it stopped. In the mid-19th century, this stop lasted 30 hours. A strong storm broke the ice on Lake Erie, and one of the ice flows blocked the course of the Niagara River. This natural dam shifted only when the wind changed direction. 121 years later, the waterfall dried up again, but this time it was a planned operation. Unprecedented measures to stop the waterfall were taken in order to preserve it and reduce rock erosion. A temporary stone earth dam was built. The best specialists were sent to study the riverbed and repair any damage. Deteriorating pieces were fixed together with bolts. All of their forces were thrown into the fight against erosion. When the work was finished, the artificial dam was blown up and the waterfall resumed its torrents. Stopping the waterfall revealed not only piles of stones and many coins, bodies were also found under the waterfall. Surprisingly, there were only two of them. There should have been a whole cemetery. About 40 people die here every year. But it seems that the bodies of others are simply carried away from the waterfall by the rapid river. In general, jumping into the waterfall was once considered almost a folk sport. Since the 19th century, it has attracted daredevils from all over the world. First, people tried sending a boat with animals on board down the waterfall. These pioneers were a bear, a bison, two foxes, and two geese. But only one goose survived. People weren't deterred by such a bleak result. It's believed that the tradition of jumping from the waterfall was established by a certain Sam Patch. He jumped from a high tower into the gorge below the waterfall and survived. Then the crazy race to conquer the stormy elements began. People tried swimming under the waterfall, going over it in barrels and even huge rubber balls. As you can imagine, few managed to survive. Other daredevils chose a way of conquering the waterfall by air. They walked on a tight wire or rope from one side of the gorge to the other. It was only in the year 2012 that a brave man dared to pass over the waterfall from one country to another. His feat is now considered the longest tightrope walk in history. The coast of the Niagara River also has its secrets. Here, just 12 kilometers, almost seven and a half miles upstream from Niagara Falls, more than 20,000 artifacts have been found. The earliest ones are at least 4,000 years old. These finds open a window into the distant times when people lived a nomadic life and engaged in hunting, fishing, and collecting plants. This is revealed by the tools found here. Stones were used to make arrowheads and spears, as well as drills. Later artifacts were also found near Niagara Falls. They include bullets that seem to date back to the 1930s or 40s. More secrets of Niagara Falls will be revealed in future stops at the waterfall. Centuries-old rocks contain many more fossils, and how many interesting things might be hidden at the bottom of the lake. In 50 years, progress will have taken a step forward. You'll definitely be able to discover and study more artifacts. The waterfall is planned to be stopped once again to replace the century-old pedestrian bridges. This operation was supposed to begin in the year 2019, but due to funding, it was postponed indefinitely. What do you think? When will they stop the waterfall? Write a date in the comments. 
And if you know what else is lurking in the waters of Niagara, be sure to let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. There are still many unsolved mysteries of our planet waiting for you.